Hi guys. <clears throat> um, I've got a video to show you and then I'm going to read something um, from Twitter. Just to show you, um, KJ cannot be trusted at all. I mean, I think more than anything that's um, that needs to be said. So I'm going to show you this video. It is, it's KJ's video. It's titled Shocking Reunion. Dancer Miranda Derrick trapped in cult meets with family after pastor is exposed. So we're going to watch this. And then I'm going to show you directly after all the backtracking she does. <laughs> yeah. Can I just say she's so cute? Oh, every time. No, 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 no. Sorry, a second. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm a very, I'm a very private person. Obviously, this is the first time going live on my account. So, um, so one of the questions is, are you okay? I am great. <laughs> I'm actually way more than okay. Thank you for asking. And then. No, you're not intelligent. No, that's not funny. All my stuff. Hey guys, it's Katie from Without Stuff All. Welcome back to my channel. It is Wednesday, March 9th. Last week, I introduced you to a story about 7M dancers, and I introduced you into who Miranda Wilkin is or Miranda Derrick. Since then, there's been a lot of developments, and I've been doing a lot of research on the topic, and I've been diving more deeply into the situation. There has been so much that's happened in the past week, and I don't even know where to start, but I will start today by stating... You would think that she'd at least clean her eyes up a bit before she went live, um, I don't know, on her YouTube channel where apparently she needs to be more respectful and this is her job. She looks like a raccoon. That Miranda is meeting with her parents as we speak. So earlier today, she went live on her Instagram to show that she was having a family meeting with her parents and she definitely did not look happy. Okay, why quote unquote? Because I'm sorry, she did go for the family meeting and she's not going to be happy because of your shit, KJ. Um, more details to come. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have a family meeting. Bye, guys. Her meeting with her parents followed a series of live videos that she did on her TikTok in what I would call odd, to say the least. In one of the videos, she appeared to be laughing and overcompensating to show that she was happy. Never felt safer. Um, but yeah, I mean, there just been a lot of lies uh, being told, just a lot of twisting of the truth. Um, yeah, I mean... I just want to say that I have um, I have spoken to my family this past year. I actually just talked to my sister a week ago. So there's that. Oh my gosh, <laughs> she looks presentable. Another live stream that she did, all she did was painted her nails and folded laundry for an hour and said nothing. No. Are you in the cult? No. She's probably not saying much. She's sick of your crap. I'm sorry. If I had someone attack everything I do, everything I say, everything I wore, everything, anything, you know what I mean? If you have someone constantly attacking you like that, I wouldn't want to say much either. And I'd be pissed off all the time. Like she needs to stop back off. She says this isn't about the dancers. It's all about Robert Shin. Bullshit. Because all I'm seeing is her KJ bring this girl down. I'm in a house. I'm in a marriage. I don't know. I'm in a Are you okay? Yeah. I'm really good. I'm actually great. In a separate live after that, she went and read passages from Proverbs in the Bible. For your heart and knowledge will fill you with joy. Wise choices will watch over you. Understanding will keep you safe. Wisdom will save you from evil people, from those whose words are twisted. These men turn from the right way to walk down dark paths. They take pleasure in doing wrong and they enjoy the twisted ways of evil. All of these messages and all these videos made it look like Miranda was not in control and was doing this sort of at the direction of 7M. No, that's according to you, not 7M, who is supposedly controlled by Robert Shin. Like, she is really reaching. Really reaching. Uh, there was a ton of different... As conflict and tragedy strike Ukraine, the world is watching and worrying. But you... 
different fake accounts that were popping up all over the place to try to smear her parents and say that the reason why she left was because her parents were just bad people. Now, well, I will say this. Well, the Wilkins might have brought this attention to the situation by letting us know who the group was and, and what they were facing. The issues are not only related to Miranda. In fact, since this is on sort of, I don't know, slowly going viral, more and more people that are associated with the dancers have come out and said that their relationships with the dancers have changed dramatically. We, I have heard from multiple people. I have heard from friends from Aubrey Fisher, who has one of the largest platforms of all of the dancers. I have heard from Kendra Willis's best friend, who is very worried about her. I have heard from B Dash's ex wife, who is worried about him and he's not talking to his son. I have heard oh, from yes, this cool ex wife. I've heard from people connected to Kylie. The overwhelming theme from all of these people is that since getting involved with Robert Chin. See, I call bullshit because she can't prove anything. She won't prove anything. And I'm sorry, I could say, yeah, well, I talked to B Dash's best friend and he said this, that, and the other. And she actually thinks people are going to believe her. I don't believe a word she says. Um, it's all bullshit. I'm sorry, but it is. In my opinion, she just views hate and bullshit. Sorry, I've had enough of her. <laughs> Can you tell? Group, they have changed. They don't speak the same way that they used to do. And they used to. And That's called highly- people growing. That's what happens when you grow up. So she's bringing, she's talking about, um, like 16 year olds when they were 16 year olds, these dancers or 20 year olds, they're now in their, they're in their middle twenties. I mean, really controlled by a man named Daniel Joseph. Well, last week I told you about how there was this lawsuit between Robert Chin and Lydia Chung back in 2009. And I sort of shared with you that back then Lydia had accused him of, you know, convincing the congregation to donate all of their money, forcing them to work 14 to 16 hours a day. She stated that, you know, he insert like installed things on her computer, on their computers to spy on them that they were remember this was all dismissed (laughs) okay and she's still bringing this up to make it real i'm serious she is going to drive this into everyone's heads that's listening to make you think this is what happened this is the truth because kj said so it's not the truth at all it was all dismissed told to donate all their money and give it all to god they told she said that she she called him a man of God. You know, there was a lot of different aspects of this. In one, in um, when Robert's sister ultimately filed for bankruptcy, Lydia sued them, and she alleged that Robert and Catherine had placed the members of the church into separate homes, divided by gender, and then cut them off from their friends and families, and then told them the people that they lived with would now become their family members. Her lawsuit alleges a cult-like cult, a cult-like church that a runs cult, like, cult, hard, really? like discipline and <clears throat> God to make them not only pay the church but also to pay Robert. In a deposition in 2011, Robert admitted that he tells church members that they should not only bless it the church, was but also bless dismissed. the pastor. And he admitted in the deposition that if you don't bless the pastor, you will be cursed. So we get this idea that he's telling people at his church that, hey, if you don't come and if you don't not only give money to me, you also uh, don't get blessed by God and I will curse you. Using the wrath of God as motivation and people buying into it, he admitted in the same deposition to likely have received over $4.7 million in donations, which he then also admitted he used not for the benefit of the church, church, but for the benefit of his companies, which were LLCs and mortgage companies and finance companies, and that he took loans out against the church that he never paid back. Ultimately, Lydia mocked the case not because they didn't admit what they were doing, but instead because it was freedom of religion, and she basically was just following his lead, and so because she was practicing her faith, it's her fault that she did what he said she should do. Today, here we are, and Miranda is finally meeting with her family, and this is kind of a part where more and more negative press has been coming out. There has been brands that have been dropping them. I was I spoke to someone in talent management who has contacts with the Clippers who flat out told me that the LA Clippers are investigating 7M and are and have postponed any future. Up- I've looked. I have yet to see any evidence of this. So, I mean, if, if anybody out there has any evidence or has seen it, at least, just let me know in the comment section. Dances that they do with 7M. Other brands uh, like Spanx and companies that are like Toyota took down their commercials at one point in time that they have posted on social media. There has been such considerable considerable backlash on social media about this group that now the group 7M is being forced to respond. And one of those responses is that they're going to let Miranda see her parents. Now, no, no, I- no, 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 no. That is not what happened. They are not being for- They are being forced to respond because of you, KJ. You're doing this. This is your fault. This woman is literally stalking, harassing, and everything with this poor Miranda girl. She really is. She's pure evil. She's vile. And needs to be stopped, like ASAP. This is why everybody's speaking out. This is why Miranda's speaking out, because she won't fuck off. That's why. 
they do, some of the dancers have had, have had relationships still with their parents or they do speak to their families, but it doesn't mean that things haven't changed. It also doesn't mean that the strategies that are being implemented by 7M aren't overwhelmingly controlling and extremely curious. Oh, and that- bullshit. Do you know that all the dancers, most of them, they all talk to their parents? And I'm sorry, but usually families do have fights, families feud. That's just how it is. Um, so Miranda had a fight with her family, that which is nobody's business, but she had to drag this up, didn't she? Right, KJ? Of course she did. Uh, all the other dancers, they all talk to their family. So how is that a cult? That's not a cult. That's called shit you make up in your goddamn head, in my opinion. Through records I was able to obtain on properties, I was able to locate that the dancers are being housed in homes owned by the church. They're paying rent to the church and they're living in groups of members. So there's five members in one house, there's four members in another, there's three in another, something to that effect. And how is this any of her business? See what I'm saying? Like she reaches with everything. They Everything's all a together, conspiracy. Together, and the church has full control over them. As they started get, getting more and more backlash, Isaiah Shin, who is Robert's son, made an extremely curious post on his Instagram where he said this, you know nothing about us because she is the most free. Married, has her own house and her own car. Oh, wait, didn't the military tell you that? Implying that she was the most free because she had a car. Miranda actually doesn't have a car listed in her name that I could find. And based on the document wow. that Lydia Chung filed in court, she stated that the church made them drive church cars so that it would be harder for them to leave the group. The church split, Robert's church split in 2008 when a rift between he and his sister came, as, came to be. And he has been motivated since then to create a sanctuary where he can control every facet of somebody's life and also make all the money. In fact, no, that's, that's not true at all. I don't believe that for a second. Until I see proof, which obviously I haven't, and neither has anyone else, the only proof that we have, which isn't proof, is coming from her mouth. That's it. That's it. That's the only thing we have is for KJ to say it's a cult because she said so. Like, you know what? If you want to take down a cult, why don't you go actually help a real one? Like, why not do that? Go fight with all the other cults that are out there. They're actually cults, not something that's made up in your head. To several people with connections to the Shins who said that this plan that Robert has been implementing today has been in the works for years with the goal of him having all the money. When you have someone who is controlling every facet of someone's life, you are controlling their work, who their friends are, who their family is, who they can talk to, who they can see, the money that they spend, the what they wear on their videos, the music that they dance to. This is not normal for managers. Managers in the entertainment industry are tasked with helping build businesses, not stifle them under fierce dictatorship control. They will help them make good decisions about investing, about spending their money. <clears throat> KJ's really pushing the story, eh? I mean, really pushing the story. Wow wisely but they don't say you can't spend money they also don't want to live with their clients they need to break from their clients and they want their clients to have free will to do what they need to do because it's not the manager's job to run their life i was told by multiple people that the shins have no experience in managing people and so what we're seeing right now is sort of a see how she gets to get away with that i was told by multiple people and this is how she gets away with all her lies and bullshit because she says well i have a source well my source told me this well i was told from multiple people this is so i'm just saying what i was told so she can't get in shit Clever girl. Really overwhelming, like colossal mess where they thought that they could weasel their way into the mainstream media and try to. Gillette introduces the all new Gillette Labs with exfoliating bar, a razor designed to give you a quick. Try to dictate what people did and said and have nobody be the wiser. I've spoken to so many people in the industry that have told me that they have known behind the scenes that this has been happening for over a year. So. I know there's lots of hot takes right now on is it a cult, is it not a cult, did she not want to did she not. At this point in time, the story is not just about Miranda. It's about all of the people in this group that do not have control over their lives. It's about Robert Shin's long history of using faith to control, defraud, uh, extort people to pay him money. Okay, if this is true, then why doesn't she go after Robert Shin then? Why are you constantly tagging the dancers? Huh? Explain that one. This is about Robert Shin. You tag Robert Shin and that's it. You go try and talk to him. Like, you don't sit there and tag the dancers and talk shit about them 24-7. And you, and you have court records that prove that he has instructed and told people these things and refers to himself as a god. He has purchased a property in... That's not proof. That's what some woman said. That is not proof. Because it was dismissed, KJ. Holy crap. Uh, a part of Los Angeles that has 15 acres with the goal of turning this into a commune. There are apartments and houses on this property. Robert has 
a school on this property and he wanted his vision, according to people I talked to, is to create a sanctuary where people live there and he charges hand over fist to them. It's almost like he wants to create a world where every money, everything goes to him. And the big thing that I want to know is that while Robert is living a lavish lifestyle where he drives a Bentley and lives in a home that has like 6,000 square feet, he's putting dancers in homes in unsafe neighborhoods with not 6,000 square feet and the homes are anything but luxurious. He has put these, these dancers in a position where their entire lives are being dedicated to him under the false pretense that if they don't donate to him, they'll be cursed. And then you have- No, that is not true either. Holy crap. Women in the situation that are at risk because Lydia Chung in her same court filing did say that Robert Chung, she alleged, uh, wanted to her to give him a massage in an inappropriate place. And it was at that point that she realized that he had been using and manipulating her. He has a history of dating women in the church. And so it makes a lot of people very fearful for the safety of the female dancers in this group, knowing that Lydia says he tried to do this with me. He's married at least three women in this church. Uh, he's had short marriages here and there. I'm just sitting here shaking my head because I'm just like, it was dismissed. None of these claims, they're all, they were all alleged and it was all dismissed. So she needs to shut the fuck up about it because it's done. It's over with. It's not part of anything like enough already. It seems as though he has a fancy for women and so what? And money. So this is the update for today. Miranda has met with her parents. She doesn't look happy. Yeah. I mean, when she went for the meeting to meet up with her parents, when you didn't know about because you're blocked and now the family won't speak to you that meeting. Yeah. Okay. My, ex my belief is that this is because 7M is under pressure and losing money, no. but that doesn't change the fact of what's happened behind the scenes, the control, and all the other a aspects of what they are doing to these dancers. Anytime there's a story, don't just focus on the one person. This is not a story about Miranda. This is a story about what Robert Shin is right. doing to a community of people. Mm -hmm. We're going to keep up the investigation. All right, you guys, I'll be back later with more. Bye. <clears throat> of course you will. Okay, now I'm going to read you this. All right. This was March 14th. <clears throat> There have been numerous questions about the incident that happened in January 2021 when Miranda moved out and didn't attend her grandfather's funeral. There are two sides of the story. Seriously, now she says there's two sides. Imagine that. Miranda says her parents were controlling and she wanted to live her life. Her family says Miranda completely changed after meeting a group. These two issues might be true to each person. In the United States, adults can legally go missing or take off. They are under no obligation to tell anyone of their location or reasons for leaving. Adults do not have to stay in touch with the parents or families. Like, are you joking me? This is what she's using, okay? For them, for Miranda not speaking to her parents at all and moving out and yada, yada, yada. Um, she's saying that's what she sees as being in a cult. And now she's backtracking. For an adult to be declared missing, there generally needs to be suspicious circumstances around their disappearance. Having an adult declared missing isn't easy. Her parents said that Miranda moved out and told no one. They described her as acting fearful and scared of something. They also said she and B-Dash were not responding to their calls. <laughs> Kelly stated in a comment, that would be Miranda's mother, that they texted them that they were going to call police before they made the report. She claimed Miranda and James never responded. In her parents' eyes, they believed she was at risk based upon their last interaction. Miranda says she is not at risk. <laughs> wow. Right now, the issue is being debated back and forth, but the issue at hand regarding concerns about the group are being ignored. The Wilking Wilkings were clear that they had tried everything, but they admitted they were stuck against laws. Miranda has the right to not have a relationship with her parents. Well, that's news to me, considering KJ is making it like she, it's its not her right. She's kidnapped, remember? Remember, Miranda's kidnapped and she's in a cult, so she's not allowed to talk to her parents. That's what KJ has said. Now she's backtracking. However, if she's being controlled by a church and having to receive permission to do anything in her life, that is not free will. Cults know that freedom of religion protects them from accusations of coercion and ma manipulation. A victim of a cult will not figure out they are a victim because someone tells them they are one. They have to figure this out on their own. Oh my God. The church will deny they are controlling anyone until actual whistleblowers come forward or crimes are uncovered. The Wilkings are stuck in a tough spot. Hope this helps. Yeah, because I'm sure someone asked you about that. The backtracking is just unbelievable with this one. <laughs> Look at Look at this damn backtracking Sis is doing. Massive damage control detected without a crystal ball is now giving Miranda Derrick permission to not, not to speak to her family. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. 
<sighs> oh no, do I have something else? Yeah, who is this? 7M dancer slam concerned friends and family. The pastor, man of God's disturbing recruitment tactics exposed. 7M promoting brands without ad, hashtag ad fake collabs. Yeah, and then here's the other part of it. It's just sick. Back in 2010s, the Shins made a movie about being famous. The premise was the heroine of the movie would do whatever it took to be famous. She even faked that she had famous friends and made fake advertisements. Recently, 7M is using the girls to push high-end brands like uh, YSL, Prada, and MAC Cosmetics. YSL and Prada bags retail well into the thousands. At no place on their posts are the women using the appropriate hashtag ad, which is required by Instagram if you are running a promotion. Do you see what she's doing before I even read this whole damn post? She's trying to get them in shit again. Influencers are required under the law to disclose if they are making money on a post. This is called truth in advertising. The FTC fines influencers for breaking these rules. Huh. Without their appropriate tags, the girls are either not following the rules or they are faking that they have a deal to appear high end. Wow. For what it's worth, Prada, YSL rarely collab with small influencers. Kendra doesn't even have a million followers. More fakery by hashtag 7M. The sad thing is 7M is going to ruin these dancers' careers. Brands won't want to work with them due to the cult and the cult will ruin their reputation. This is why 7M needs to be exposed. No, I think you need to be exposed for the shit that you do, actually. Look at the goddamn hashtags. Okay, she's apparently, I'm not covering Miranda. I'm not covering the dancers. I'm going after Robert Shin. What the hell is this? Free Miranda. Free Miranda Derek. B-Dash. Concrete. Uh, there's Robert Shin there. You've got Forced Labor. Dance Moms. Dancers of Instagram. Dance. Crumping Crump. 7M. It's Slavic. Slavic. Nar. And False Prophet. She's got most of the dancers in there and she's hashtagging them. What the fuck is that? I'm sorry. I'm really, really pissed off today at her. I just, I've had enough. I'm not sure how much money it would take to dig into her past or what do I need to find out or where I even, I wouldn't even know where to start, but I would really love to. I wish I could. I really wish I could. All right. That's going to do it, guys. I'm going to have a tea and go relax for a bit. Um, just leave all your comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Um, like when is enough enough? You know what I'm saying? Enough is enough has happened a long time ago for me with her.